Now in Israel, Prime Minister Naftali Bennett's coalition is fighting for survival after losing majority as the Knesset is reopening for the summer session today. Bennett is set to face a challenge from the opposition. Out of the two crucial bills to be presented today in the Knesset, one will be on dissolving the parliament. It remains to be seen how Ram will vote in a potential coalition-killing vote. Four-member coalition party Ram in, is in its in the midst of a three-week freeze on voting. The coalition is protesting tensions over Jerusalem's Temple Mount Al-Aqsa complex. The coalition partner is yet to decide on rejoining the coalition. The crisis was sparked last month by the defection of Knesset member Idit Silman. The move had ended the diverse eight-party coalition's one-seat majority. The 120-member parliament was left deadlocked. With the 60-60 seat parity between the coalition and the opposition, Ram is facing pressure from within. The party split over whether to support party leader Mansour Abbas or cut its losses and return to the opposition. And for more on this, joining us live is our correspondent Jody Cohen, who's joining us live from Ranana in Israel. Jody, thank you for joining us. Now, to begin with, what can you tell us about the latest on the bill in the Knesset today? How crucial is it? So, yes, hi. As you said, I'm in Ranana, which is the home of the current Israeli prime minister. Whether or not he continues to be the prime minister for very much longer will, in part, just be determined by what happens today. So on Wednesday, they could could be proposing a preliminary reading of the bill to dissolve the Knesset. I say could because in the latest news, we've just heard that that's going to be confirmed. And that's because we haven't yet heard about how the Islamist Arab Ram Party's decision is likely to go in that vote. And their decision will be crucial. They had suspended their historic membership of the Israeli coalition government over the violence on the Temple Mount Al-Aqsa compound. And a key issue for them is also on how they're seen to be delivering for their Arab and Bedouin voters. Now, the party is split. Mansour Abbas, the leader, would like to apparently stay with the coalition government. But some of the party members are concerned for their political futures. A recent poll has shown that if an election was held today, that Ram wouldn't pass the electoral threshold. Now, their right. Shura Council will make the decision on that. And they were supposed to have a press conference today. They have delayed that announcing their decision because of the unfortunate death of the veteran Al Jazeera journalist Shirin Abu Akleh. And Israel has offered an investigation to the Palestinians on how that um, happened. Israel says that it could have been the Palestinians that shot her. The Palestinians say that it could have been Israel. So that remains to be seen what will happen with that. But in the meantime, we await Ram's decision on whether or not they will vote for or against this bill. Absolutely, Jody. Also, what are the implications of Ram's vote given the house strength is split equally at 60-60? So that is the key question. So the preliminary reading is happening today, which means that Likud would need just a majority to get it through to the next stage. Now, if Ram decides to abstain, then Likud could get 59 votes and the government would get 56. There is an option that Ram will decide to allow its individual MPs to determine how they vote. And if that happens, there is a possibility that it could lead to a 59-59 tie. And ironically, the tiebreaker vote could be that of MP Idit Silman, who caused all the, you know, the deadlock in Parliament in the first place. If the bill fails, then the opposition can't bring this back to Parliament for another six months. If it passes, then it could go to elections unless Likud could form a government without elections. And this poll suggested that Likud is likely to increase to 36 seats. The coalition parties in the government now would get fewer seats and couldn't form a government. And it doesn't look like Likud would be able to form a government either at this stage. Um, it looks like they would continue to be deadlocked. But things happen on a daily basis here. So time will tell. Right. All right. Thank you, Jody, so much for bringing us all the updates at this hour. We will, of course, continue to track this very closely with you. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.